Okay, let's go for uh, the trade positions. Uh, it's always uh, good to see other people's homework. Uh, so let's say um, much more on the long side now with uh, with uh, euro dollar. Which mm. does that surprise you? To be honest, I think it's closer to parity than that. I, I would say it's fifty fifty more or less. I, I wouldn't necessarily say it's that. Obviously, it's sterling on the upside. I'm a bit surprised at that. The dollar yen looking lower. Uh, really. Um, all right. Um, dollar Swiss, I haven't really given that much attention, but if you're going to be playing dollar, Euro dollar, why is the dollar Swiss so much that it's going to be pushing it down? Or maybe there's some action in the Euro Swiss, but then you'd also see that in Euro dollar and Euro sterling. Dollar CAD, well, yeah, that's, that's fairly obvious. Um, the Aussie, that seems reasonable, yeah. um, given the recent action, especially last night with the, uh, the banks being downgraded by Moody's. Euro sterling, again, that's a, a, not a very active market, but it's more towards the downside than not, I think. It seems more of an emotional trade there, not really looking at... Um, emotions yeah. what makes this market. It's yeah. the different people's emotions and their ideas of what they see in the next few weeks, months, days.